Ooh. Hey all, so today I want to tell you guys about Jamaican black castor oil. I've been using Jamaican black castor oil for years for so many things and I'm just, I'm like, <clears throat> how come I haven't done a video on it? How come I have not talked about this? How come nobody has pointed this out to me? Like I need to, I need to talk about this. Now before we get into all the nitty gritty, all right, I know, I know you're excited. It's all right, it's all right, we'll get there eventually. I just wanna to explain to you what Jamaican black castor oil is. Basically, it's a very, very close relative to castor oil, except the castor bean is roasted and it becomes very dark. It's actually a more potent form of castor oil. It is very, very thick. It is very goopy, very, very dark in color, and it has a very roasted, like smoky, nutty smell to it. Alrighty, now that you know what it is, now I can get into the good stuff. Benefit number one, ricinoleic acid. A major component of JBCO is ricinoleic acid, extremely infamous for its ability to thicken hair and make it grow faster. And since it's all the craze right now, you can use it to thicken your eyebrows as well. Benefit number two, anti-inflammatory and antifungal properties. JBCO can be used on sore joints from arthritis or any other conditions or general joint pain. And it can also be used on sore muscles. You can put it in your hands and then rub between your hands to heat up the oil, or you can heat it up and just apply it to the painful area and it's gonna help relieve a lot of tension and pain. Its antifungal properties is really good for ringworm infections and eczema as well. And now I wanna show you guys multiple ways that you can incorporate it into your regimens. Number one, put it in your products. You can add some in your shampoo, conditioner, and deep conditioner for extra benefits. And there are also JBCO specific hair products already made so that you can have the hair growth benefits already made in the formula. Number two, scalp massage. Massaging your scalp with oil in general is very good for you, but JBCO is more beneficial in the sense that it can um, calm down any minor inflammation on your scalp, any minor infections, any itchiness, soreness. It can also thicken your hair and make it grow faster. You can just put it in your hands, warm it up, and just massage your scalp. You can sleep with it overnight, wash it out the next day, or you can wash it out right after your massage. Totally up to you. You can massage your scalp as many times as you want. Once a week, twice a week, every other day, every day, whatever you want. Number three, your body. You can apply JPCO directly onto your skin, but it is very, very thick, so you could dilute it with another carrier oil uh, if you want, like jojoba oil or olive oil or coconut oil or rosemary oil, whatever you want, just to dilute the solution so it's easier to spread on the body. Please don't lick it. It doesn't taste good. Number four. Use it as a styling product. The first one is a pre-poo. A pre-poo is a treatment that you put in your hair before you take a shower to add extra benefits and nutrients to your hair. So you can just saturate your hair from root to tip in JBCO. Leave it in for maybe like maybe 10, 30 minutes or an hour, up to you, and then wash it out. The second way is to use it as a split end sealant. So you go into the shower, you wash, you condition, you get out, right? So grab a little bit of Jamaican black castor oil, massage it in your hands, and then just rub it on your very ends like this. Just like this. You know, comb it through, really rake it in. And it's gonna be a great, great sealant for your split end so it doesn't split even more. And it can help prevent split ends as well. The third way is to use it as edge control. So you know when you put your hair into like a ponytail or a bun like this and you have like a bunch of like hair sticking all over the place? Yeah, I gotta control that as well with some water and some product. JBCO is particularly good for that because it actually can help regrow your edges if they're thinning out or if you just want to have a fuller hairline. So you can just put your hair like in a bun right now, ponytail, whatever you want. So let's pretend right now I'm gonna put it like in a pretend ponytail. Okay, whatever, there you go. Personally, I like to use a toothbrush, so I would put like a toothbrush in my JBCO, you know, just comb back like that on the edges, make them nice and flat, and that can also help at a treatment at the same time. How nice is that? Alrighty, y'all, that was a lot of information, and that wasn't even half of it, because JBCO is legit 
the best. It will always be a staple in my life. And I hope that it's a staple in your life too. Now, I know I've thrown a lot of information your way, but I'm not quite done yet. Yes, I know I need to shut up, but this is important, I promise. JBCO is very, very popular in the curly hair community. It is very sought after. And a lot of companies know that and will take advantage of people and make fake JBCO in which they'll just grab castor oil and dye it black. So please, please, please check the ingredients of the oil that you buy and make sure that the first main ingredient is roasted castor beans or castor beans and make sure that there is no black dye that has been added to the oil. In my area, I have only seen one main brand of JBCO in one store. So that's usually where I get mine, but I also order online as well when I want to order in bulk. So I'll leave that information in the description box down below. All right, Rian, that was my very on the benefit and uses of Jamaican black castor oil. I truly love it. Hope you check it out and uh, leave me any suggestions or comments down below of any other things slash actions you want me to discuss slash perform on this channel. I am more than happy to hair related or non hair related. Please subscribe and check in back regularly to see if I upload it. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media, I will leave all the links down below. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.